Good morning. A heritage of fishermen. We are talking about honoring the heritage uh, that we've been given as Christians on Sunday mornings with our sermon series. And so today's devotion, I want to look again at Luke 5, uh, verses uh, 8 to 10. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at Jesus' knees and said, Go away from me, Lord, I am a sinful man. For he and all his companions were astonished at the catch of fish they had taken. And so were James and John, sons of Zebedee, Simon's partners, his fishing partners. Then Jesus said to Simon, don't be afraid. Here it is. From now on, you will fish for people. Now, Simon, Peter had uh, just witnessed a miracle, a huge miracle. Jesus had given him a catch of fish that was so miraculously large that uh, his nets began to break. Uh, his boat was starting to take on water. It was sinking even. And Peter immediately realized that he had nothing to do with this great catch of fish and that it happened just by the power of Jesus's word. He knew that he was in the presence of God. And that's how he became deeply aware of the fact that he did not belong there. But Jesus absolutely wanted him there. And this was a, a turning point in his ministry. You know, before this event, uh, Jesus was a lone teacher. Now, Jesus wanted others to help him. And so he said to Peter, Don't be afraid. From now on, you will fish for people. Think about that. Jesus called people to fish for other people. Right? Not, not angels, not just himself, catching all the people. <laughs> and those are the kind of people Jesus called. I mean, these were not professional speakers. They were fishermen. Jesus used regular guys to preach and teach. And then here's the thing. This is our heritage here. God still does the same thing. He, he sends ordinary people to go out and share the good news about Jesus. Why? Does God give such an important task to such unimportant people? Well, of course, it's to show that the power is from God and it's not from people. The net that uh, Jesus catches people with is the good news about his perfect life, his innocent death, and his glorious resurrection. And so the message itself it carries the power to catch people for Jesus. This way, God gets all the credit for all the good that comes from sharing our faith. And really, even the more unworthy the messenger, the more God's power shines through. He uses sinful men and women as his messengers to tell other sinful men and women about their Savior, which leads them to faith in Jesus. Let's honor that heritage of letting God, the power of the gospel itself, work through sinful and ordinary people, just like you and me, to share that good news with our family, our friends, our neighbors, co-workers, everybody that God brings into our lives. Let's pray for that. Lord, well, we are sinful people, and uh, we ask for your forgiveness, and we thank you uh, for your grace that takes away all our sins. Uh, we pray that you work through your people to fill the nets of your kingdom with those that are now caught in unbelief, uh, but that they would come to know Jesus as their Lord and their Savior, too. In his name we pray. Amen.
Amen. Okay, you guys go out there and uh, have a great Tuesday.